In this course, I don't want to limit you to just one language because we all code in different languages and throughout your career, you're most likely going to use multiple languages. Now, this course specifically, I will have to use a language to demonstrate code and write some code. And I'm going to use JavaScript for this because it is similar with a lot of common languages and it's also the most well-known. However, you can use whatever language you want in this course and follow along. Even the exercises will give you solutions in different languages. So pick whichever one you want. But how are we gonna run all these different languages when you're following along? Maybe I'm demonstrating something in JavaScript and you're coding along in Python. Well, we're gonna use a couple of neat little online tools. The first one I'm gonna show you and the one we're gonna use in this course is REPL.IT. REPL it, as I like to call it. And you can pick any language that you want here to code along. And like I said, I'm gonna be using JavaScript for this course, but all you need to do is to sign up with your GitHub account and you'll have a little IDE that you can run your code in. And you'll see me using this throughout the course. Another one that I really like is glot.io. And it's open source, which I'm a big fan of. And you can see over here that we have a lot of different languages that we can use. Again, if I go to JavaScript, it gives me a nice little area for me to write code and run it. Another option, especially if you're using JavaScript, is to just go to View, Developer, and Developer Tools in Google Chrome. And this allows you in the Console tab to just write JavaScript. So that's another great option. Or if you prefer, you can always use your favorite text editor, write your code, and then run it whichever way you want. Again, keeping in mind that this course is language agnostic. That means it doesn't matter what language you use. What we're learning are foundational computer science principles that you can take anywhere throughout your career. And as you'll see, whether you know JavaScript or not, I'm going to keep the code very general and simple so that it's easy to replicate it into other languages and also give you resources and sources with other languages when we get into more nitty gritty coding. All right, set up your environment, get ready for some code. I'll see you in the next video.